So welcome to lesson three of the design of student registration app for Cosby Computer Solutions. So today we continue with we continue the series by customizing security. So now we are going to open the application folder. You know where the application folder is. I think it's on the C drive. So C. Um, what's the where is the application for? This one. Is it this one? Yes. Let's right click on this model's folder. Uh, okay. Let's go back to the model's folder. You have sublime text on your computer. Okay, you don't like it. So let's right click and say open with code. Let's open model's folder with code. Hmm? Alright, so we are going to create a new file. We are going to create a new file. So, the name of this new file will be Now we are going to copy some things from application.user.cs. We are going to copy all the users here. Hmm? We are going to copy. We have this namespace. Cause to record. We are going to have this uh, partial class. Hmm? 
so now we continue let's create some properties uh, the first property that we're going to add will be first name the second property we are going to have Middle name. Hmm? Then the other property we are going to add will be last name. Hmm? So let's go to uh, let's see. Hmm? Hmm. So now we want to up update our cf2 so to do that let's open command prompt so this command prompt run as administrator Bitcoin, yes. So, .NET tool update. I think global .NET EF. Just press enter. Hmm? So you can see the message. It said to .NET EF was successfully updated from version 5.0 to version what? Okay. Now, it says add a new file called. Uh, so what we are now going to do is let's close this. Hmm? Let's go to our data folder. Let's right click on it. Let's say open with code. Hmm? So let's add a new file to this folder. Let's, let's add a new file. to call the new file from, from the, you're going to have the same name as this other file okay. that's the one that has context inside of it it will be condita context dot Cs. Hmm? Yes. What we are going to do, we are going to open both on data context of CS and context of context.cs. Are you following? Yes. So this is what we have in con data context of CS. Help me to copy all the uses up to this space. In fact, sorry from this using to to this line hmm? have you copied copy thank you so now we, we go to context context of custom cs we paste hmm? Hmm. i don't need Like I was saying, I don't need this line. 
so much. We need to close the curly braces for the namespace out okay. and the class. Hmm? Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is to go to this place. Put it there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need uh, mm -hmm. and we need. You need to also put this name space at the top. Hmm? The reason why we are putting this name space at the top is because this class application user belongs to that name space. God's view edu record that models. Hmm? Now the next thing we need to do is to go to my server folder, copy the parts. Hmm? After copying the parts, we are going to open a new command prompt. As administrator, are you following? So you, you select one as administrator, say yes, user account control, then when it opens, you paste the part that you have copied. Are you following? Sorry, before we go ahead, I just remember that we want to ask some other. Are you following? Okay. Let's lose this. Let's still go to the server folder. Let's open our models folder. Hmm? Open with code. Hmm? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's remove this. Hmm? I just remember that we need uh, we need public needs. Gender ID get set. Hmm? And then I just remembered that we need public string. Hmm? Set. Hmm? The question mark by the integer means it is possible that the gender ID might be null, which means we don't know. Okay. If there is no question mark there, that means it is a non nullable value. Okay. So as it is now, gender ID is not labeled. It's possible for you not to know what the gender ID, ID is. is. Okay. 
So that's what it means. We use that question mark to represent non-label types, okay? So now we come back to this place and we are going to copy this command. Let's just remember we we updated the .NET EF2 the other time. When we run this command, if everything is fine, it's going to generate the statements that will update our, our users application users too. Okay. Can see build started. Yes. All right, so we have some errors. The first error is in condita the custom dot CS nine sixteen thirty seven nine sixteen thirty eight nine sixteen thirty nine. So we are going to close this. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is in, is in this file is in the digital folder. This is where the error is. This particular file. Hmm? Okay. So let's see open this code. Let me go and open application class. Class. Hmm? Okay. That's not Oh, that file is not there again. Application is there. There is a file that is supposed to be here. Oh, instead, the file is here. Hmm? This file. Let's call this. Hmm? The file is supposed to be here. Now let's open the file and see what we have. Hmm? So open it good. Hmm? Let me come here. Let me write the fully qualified name of this class. Hmm? Box will dot application user. Hmm? Now let me let me show this command again. Are you All right, so have you seen our our error? Let's go ahead and correct it. Hmm?
So let's continue. So so now let's go back to the command prompt. Hmm? Let's run this command again. Hmm? So you can see, you can see build started, isn't it? Yes. Congratulations, you can see build succeeded. Yes. Now that build has succeeded, you can close this completely. Hmm? Okay. We can go to the folder. That's the project folder, which is this. Open the server folder. Okay. Uh, Okay, build succeeded, Abby. Okay. Okay, so let's go to data folder. So we have the migrations folder. So let's open the migrations folder. Hmm? So finally, an operation was calculated that may result in loss of data. Please review the migration for accuracy. So let's go and review the migration. Hmm? So in order to review the migration, we we'll open this folder. We we'll go to migration folder. Yes, this is the stuff we are looking for. Okay. So let's open it with code. Hmm? Okay. We are going to remove some of the generated statement because we we don't really need them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't. I don't need this migration builder that the add column consume time description blah blah blah. The only things I'm going to leave are those new columns that we are adding. You can see first name. Mm -hmm. We are leaving it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So. We are adding gender ID, we are adding picture, do you agree? Yes. So, uh, and I don't need all these guys as well, because they are already there. I follow. Yes. So, so, this is how my, this is my hop method, this is the migration task. Like now. What method? Up top. Up top. Okay. We only those columns. We want. Then the other method too. We we'll go there. We we'll remove everything. Okay. We we'll do the same. So. Um, You get it. So for the down method, this is what we just have. It's just columns we have. We have added that we are going to drop. So now we go to file. Then we do save. Are you following? Yes. So now that we have reviewed our migration. Okay. And uh, we have manually removed stuff that might cause issues. Okay. The next thing that we are now going to do is to type this command. Dot net. Uh, 
.net okay dot net ef hmm? mm -hmm. database update and it does it's going to add those four columns okay so then we are going to specify the context we are going to use and the context we are going to use is still application identity db context Hmm? Bam. So you can see build started. Hmm? So you can see build succeeded. Hmm? Now the last thing you are going to do is to open SQL Server and verify whether those columns were actually added. Okay. So in order to do that, going to where's management studio I click on it and then we see oh. hmm? oh. okay so please So now let's expand. So now, let's expand databases. Which of the databases are we using? Cosmodb. Cosmodb. Okay. So. Let's expand it. Let's expand ESP users. Uh, let's expand tables. So now, let's right click on ESP.NET users. Okay. Let's go to design. So now you can see those columns have been added. Mm. So and that will be the end of today's lecture. Okay. We'll continue with security and all that stuff in next lesson. Okay. Thank you for patiently watching.